Hello my friend, welcome to my channel for discoverers. Today we are continuing our discovery of Setia Spies. In today's video, we shall cover the rooftop and the convention center. If you have not seen my earlier video where we explore the outside of Setia Spies, I will put the link on the top right. We have arrived at the rooftop. Before we go any further, let me give you our starting point coordinates. Key these coordinates into your GPS, Google Maps or Waze to be navigated to the grand entrance of Setia Spies. From there, you can enter the basement car park. We are now looking at the iconic roof of Setia Spies Convention Center. This is a pillarless structure sheltering the grand entrance. Before entering the rooftop park, I first need to scan the pandemic app, so there will be a blip in my video recording. Okay, we are done here, so now let's go in. From the iconic roof, we can see Jalan Tun Dr. Awang and beyond that, the Pekan or heart of Relau Township. I have also done a narrated walking tour of the Relau Pekan. You can view it by clicking the link on the top right. In front of us is a huge park. It covers 6 acres and is completely on the rooftop of the convention centre. The park is symmetrical in design. It is flanked on both sides by gardens and there's a flowing water feature. From here, you can get a nice view of the central element called the Pearl Landmark. The pearl topping the structure glows at night in different colours. From here, you can see the soon-to-be-completed Amari Spice Penang Hotel and further away, still under construction, meals at PICC Luxury Condominium. We are turning right here to visit the kids park. This park is designed not only as a children's playground but specifically for children with special needs. It is now late morning, so it's presently too hot to play. By evening, the kids will descend on this playground. From here, you can also see the skyline of the Relau Township. It is one of the fastest developing townships on Penang Island. Behind the children's playground are the iconic canopies of Spice Canopy. I am not sure whether these structures are simply an aesthetic element or whether they have a practical use such as to collect rainwater. If you know, do tell me in the comments of this video.
We are immediately above Setia Welcome Centre, the developer's sales gallery. From here, we can see Medan Bayan, which I have also made a video about. You can view it by clicking the link on the top right. There is a garden here for the public to relax. Those who come with children can rest while the kids go to play. And on this side, there is a bandstand for outdoor performances. From here, we can take a peek at the Setia Spice Aquatic Centre. It has an Olympic-sized swimming pool as well as a children's water park. This is where you can take a rest after walking or jogging through the park. I have to say, having such a huge park is truly a bliss for the people in Penang where we face land scarcity. It is possibly one of the largest rooftop parks in the country. If you come from other places in Malaysia where land is in abundance, you might not be able to appreciate having this huge expanse of greenery right on the roof. But here in densely crowded Penang, every piece of greenery is a welcoming sight. There are many passages like this one waiting for us to explore. Over here, I can see an F&B outlet within Spine's canopy. I will return to it later. Let's continue exploring the rooftop park.
Have you been to this rooftop park before? Do you come here often? Leave a comment to let me know. On my narrated walks, I want you to have the feel like you are walking here with me. It's the nearest thing to being here yourself, and you can do it from the comfort of your home or when you are sitting in a bus or train. Through the magic of YouTube, you can explore places that I have previously only written about. Now I can actually show them to you. For more details of places that I show in my channel, please visit my website Penang Travel Tips. I will put the link on the top right. And over here, we see Spice Arena, the indoor stadium that was originally completed in the year 2000. We are now at the heart of the rooftop park, so let's walk across to the Pearl Landmark. The pyramid-shaped base kind of remind me of the glass pyramid at the Louvre in Paris. Like that pyramid at the Louvre Museum, it serves as a skylight to the foyer which we will visit afterwards. Here's one of the toilets in this area. There are many all over the complex, so you don't really have to worry if you need to go to one.
Sometimes it's hard to realize that the field in front of us is not on the actual ground but rather on the roof. Thanks to the landscape treatment, the roof doesn't look like roof anymore. Now let's continue to the bamboo garden. This garden is located on the rooftop of Setia Spice multi-story car park. You can see the top level of the car park in a moment. Here it is, the multi-story car park. During major events, all the car parks at Setia Spice is full. We have arrived at the bamboo garden. I will walk to one end and start from there. Here's a circular pavilion with elevated walkway at the bamboo garden. Oh, I didn't notice there are some cones blocking the way. Some form of repair must be in progress. I'll have to step over it. From this side, we can get a good view of Spice Arena.
here's Amari Spice Penang, the final component of Setia Spice that is still not completed. It will be a 4-star hotel housing 453 guest rooms. Even as we speak, workers are putting the finishing touches to the hotel. From here, we can see Amaris Facilities Podium. I can see from here, one of the features of Amari is a water cascade. Can you see it? Let me zoom in.
and on this side we have a rock garden Now let's leave the bamboo garden and go to the next spot. Now I'm going to spice canopy. I am guessing here that this is the passage to reach it. So often, when I do this walking tours, I am not sure where I am walking to until I reach it. There's no chance to do a walkthrough before I start my video recording, so you discover as I discover. It's not uncommon that we reach a dead end together. I can see the Spice Aquatic Center in front of us, so I believe this is the right way to Spice Canopy. There's the FMB outlet at Spice Canopy. Can I reach it from here? Oh, yes, I can. This glass roof it suddenly reminds me of the one at the British Museum in London. It is a much simpler version.
How about this passage? Where does it lead to? The spice arena? I think the sign says that this access is closed. Never mind, we'll still walk down this way to see what we can see. Oh yeah, there's a gate in front and it's locked. Nevertheless, I'll just show you the main entrance to Spice Arena from here. Now let's backtrack to Spice Canopy. There's a cafe here, but it appears to be used for a cooking school or something like that. Okay, it's Golden Chef, the College of Culinary Arts and Hospitality. Not sure whether the cafe is part of the college or the students simply spill over to it. It looks like the campus occupies many of the outlets here. On the right, it says patisserie and boulangerie. That's pastry shop and bakery in French. Is that a shop or perhaps it's just part of the college? We are now at Spice Canopy. It is a two-story arcade. The outlets on the ground floor are mostly F&B, while those on the first floor have become office lots or in this case a college campus. I will explore this corridor to see what's there to see. By the way, I have put timestamps on this video. You can click on it to skip to specific section so you don't need to follow this walk from end to end unless you are curious of things like me. It's just a vacant outlet at the end of this corridor. But the passage continues here. Let's go a short distance because we can catch a glimpse of the aquatic center from here. Now let's turn back and continue our discovery of Setia Spice. We can see Medan Bayan from here. There's the two hawker centers, Lucky Eatery and Spice Pizza Cafe.
Let's go downstairs and proceed to the convention center itself. On my right is the Tia Welcome Center, the Developer Sales Gallery. Here's the entrance to the sales gallery, but we won't be going in. You can go to the convention center by lift and by escalator. I will use the escalator. A quick look at the front facade of the sales gallery with water features. In front of us is the inner foyer of the Grand Ballroom. The side door is open so we'll go in from there. Here's the inner foyer. They call it the pre-function area. This area alone is 20,000 square feet. Whenever there are large banquets, they can put 150 dining tables here in addition to the 400 inside the Grand Ballroom. And now let's see the Grand Ballroom. So here we are my friend, the Grand Ballroom of Setia Spice Convention Center. Measuring 48,000 square feet, it is the largest subterranean convention hall in Malaysia. It is pillarless and can be partitioned into different sections. The doors at the far end of this hall leads to a huge kitchen. There are large screens by the side and even in the middle of the hall so that guests can follow the proceedings of live events. I know the area presently looks like a rampage has just passed through, but that's how it is in between events. As you can see, quite often, only a small section of the Grand Ballroom is used. The scale of this room allows us to comprehend why the rooftop park is so big. This massive hall is underneath the field we walked through just now.
one final look at the grand ballroom before we continue. Now let's walk the length of the pre-function area. The doors on the left leads to function rooms. This can be used for workshops. We are at the central skylight of the pre-function area. If you remember the pearl landmark, we are now directly below it. This is another part of the grand ballroom that is presently partitioned for a different event. Here I believe is the office for staff of the convention center. And on this side is another washroom and a surround. Now let's go take a look at one of the function rooms. We are now in the outer foyer of the convention center. More washrooms over here and there's also a link to Spice Arena.
and going straight from here will take us to Amari Hotel, that is when the hotel is fully functional and open for use. A view of Rulao from the inside. A few decades ago, this was still part of rural Penang. Turning left here will also take us to Spice Arena, but I believe the passage is closed right now. There are some more function rooms here and this is just their lobby area. In front of us is the atrium of the main foyer. We are nearing the end of our tour now. I will walk across the atrium to the elevator which will take me down to the basement car park. I hope you enjoy our tour of Setia Spice rooftop and convention center. Do give this video a like and share so that more people will have a chance to view it. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel for more narrated walking tours. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to meeting you again soon.